And we're back. Welcome to another episode of createyourhealth.com. My name is Peter Bedard, and in a moment, I'm going to get hugged. So the Ecstatic Embrace is a 90-minute a continuous hugging experience. And in the process of that, people encounter joy, open-heartedness, grief. That's a little intimidating. Mm -hmm. And it's on, it's on a bed. Yes. That just comes off a little weird. How, what's, what is that about? Uh, in this experience, it is uh, not romantic and not sexual. And actually, if there are sexual feelings that come up, and occasionally that does come up, um, and I don't pathologize those in any way, you know, human beings are sexual and, and we have feelings, I just treat it as energy not to be explored or enhanced in any way. If two minutes are comfortable, then five minutes are comfortable, and then the excursion begins and people completely let go of, of that uh, consideration. You know, hugging is a language, if you will, and it's a language of safety and acceptance and comfort. So when you find yourself undefended, feelings come up. Uh, feelings of loss, sometimes historical feelings, uh, trauma. And how do you handle people when they come to you and they say, I don't know if I can do this and I'm afraid I won't stop crying or, or whatever. I've, I've had several people say that to me in the past. This is such a gentle experience. I don't coax feelings out of people. I only let them know that this is a safe place to feel. <clears throat> I'm a little nervous, but what do we do? Well, that's why we'll stand up and we'll just have a little introductory hug. That um, sounds so funny to me, but yes. Okay, okay stand up. Uh -huh. So the thing about social hugging uh -huh. is that you're planning the end of it at the beginning of it. And you don't want to be... <laughs> Absolutely. The, and, you don't, and you don't want to be the one who's holding on when the other person lets go. Yeah. So now we get to just stay. Okay. So we'll just get acquainted. Okay. okay? All right. Okay. So it's good to breathe. Notice where you're self-conscious in your body. You feel comfortable enough to lay down? Sure. Okay. Let's go. All right. Where do we go? Follow me. All right. This is very nice <laughs> and a little strange. <laughs> I know. We don't want to know. We don't know one another yet. <laughs> so. Right. So just focus on uh, breath and uh, your body and notice where you're holding. Okay. And just settle in. Long physical contact. It's where we learn that we're safe in the world. Or not. I'm so trying to relax. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mixture of a profound relaxation and exhilaration at the same time. I'm feeling a little sad. A little sad. Was that attached to any particular thought or? Just that it's been a long time since anybody's helped me. That we build our defenses and um, we actually long to let them go if we feel safe enough. This it doesn't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can really feel the benefit of, of just being held. After a full session, you actually uh, feel an afterglow experience out in the world. Thank you so much for sharing this. Thank you, Peter. You know, for allowing this level of, uh, of intimacy with, the, with no threat. That's a, that's a really big gift, and I appreciate your sharing that with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought a guy I've never met is gonna hug me. That's okay. Fair.